leave all of your things, yeah You can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah Come with me, fly you out to Paris Full speed, so fully belly yeah. Speed boats, baby, in Nikki Beach Raising my ass, smoking weed Dipping through the sand in a Jeep All because of what I did on peace, baby Life's sweet, baby, life's stop, baby We just go, baby, ready, we go Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi and welcome to my trip away with my mum. We have come to Athens in Greece and I'm so, so excited to be here. Um, this was my Christmas present to my mum. I was her secret Santa. So I got her this holiday and we're here for the weekend and I'm so happy to be here. The sun is out. I think you guys saw some clips before and I'll give you a nice little room tour of our hotel as well. It's really, really pretty. But I'm so happy to be here and um, enjoy a nice vacation at the start of the year. Also, I have my Invisalign in, which is why I have a little bit of a lisp. But hopefully I'm gonna get used to it and the lisp will start to go away the more I speak. But I've got them for 19 weeks. I just wanna start off this video by thanking Ana Luisa for sponsoring. Um, I love Ana Luisa. I've been working with them for almost two years now and I absolutely love their jewellery. A lot of the times when I get questions on my channel of what jewellery I'm wearing, it's always Ana Luisa. And they have a huge Valentine's Day sale going on right now. Um, and I just thought I would show you guys how I've literally brought my jewellery with me on holiday. Um, so this jewellery case itself is from Ana Luisa. And it's so pretty, it opens up like this. And then it's got different compartments for everything that you want to bring. I didn't have too much I wanted to bring. The main thing I wanted to bring was this new ring that I got. It is so beautiful. It's like a crisscross material with diamantes. And I love how it stands out so elegantly. I also got this S necklace, which I think is so nice. Um, I feel like if you have a boyfriend for Valentine's Day, it's so cute to get. Um, like your initial and their initial because the length of it can um, be changed so you can like wear both of your initials um, so even boyfriends if you're watching that's a good idea and then I got these beautiful hoops I haven't taken them off since I got them absolutely love the way they look on me I just think they're so elegant and they jazz up any any outfit that I wear um, in my jewellery case, I also have, these ones are a bit more dangly, you'll watch me wear them throughout the vlog as I go for night out looks, I'll show you how I style, um, but I like a little dainty gold earring, and I think these are so cool, they have like a really cool hook detail, and I also have this necklace. Um, which I adore. I think it was part of a special collection, but I could literally layer this now the way I'm wearing it But I feel like having a bit more of a minimal look for um, Today's outfit, but tomorrow when I'm wearing like a jumper that's got green detailing I'm gonna wear this as well So you guys will see me style all the Ana Luisa pieces throughout this video and you can shop the link directly in the description You can shop for sale for up to 40% off some incredible jewelry pieces and perfect sale in time for Valentine's Day So thank you again Ana Luisa for sponsoring and let's start enjoying Greece starting off with my room tour for anyone wondering this is where we are staying the Greek Hotel Palace Athena it's like a beautiful boutique hotel um, and I will show you our room so this is the junior suite um, this is the living room area they just bought our bags and let's see this is the bathroom Oh, I think we need to put the key in, Mum. And then what's this door? I think this is like the connecting door to the next room if you were to connect. Oh, wow. This is our bedroom. So pretty. We need to get some new masks from downstairs. But hey, Mum, welcome to your Christmas present. Hello. <laughs> Thank you very much. I love presents like this. <laughs> Look, we're matching. We're both yes. wearing green. Boo! <laughs> to be honest, most of our clothes for this holiday is green for some reason. Yes, um, my but accidentally, no, because I bought before you. Yeah, I yeah. Didn't know. But you came shopping with me, and you didn't even say when I was picking up green stuff. No, I didn't. Yeah. This hotel is so pretty. You can. You don't know what you really nice It's so pretty here. How nice is it, Mum? And the weather is so good. We're gonna walk to. Where are we walking, Mum? Oh my God! Acropolis. Uh, Acropolis is the main historical site of Athens. <laughs> Me and my dad are the history geeks of the family. We love like um, any 
anything to do with like history, ancient history, even like modern day history. Um, but my mom is like not, like she loves to see it, but I wouldn't say necessarily she's a pro. So um, I'm excited to like tour the streets of Athens with her. And we were saying this in the taxi. How pretty is everything, please? We were saying in the taxi that, yeah, the weather is so nice. And we were saying in the taxi that, um, how much does Athens, like parts of it, remind you of Tehran? Like they just have like narrow streets because it's in a mountain, Tehran's in a mountain. There's loads of like narrow streets and like there's loads of orange trees everywhere. Yes, um, beautiful. And look at the bears, they yeah. exactly like Iran. Yeah. So nice. We stumbled across a fish market. All fresh fish. Amazing. Nigga Nein, Ile. Look at this building, it's so old. I love it. don't know where we are right now because <laughs> this is our mid walk to the Acropolis but uh, our mummy on just to get on bala piade yeah yeah this is a church and then it's got this really cute lemon tree right next to it. How incredible this used to be a theatre. Mom, you mean that married a mom Wow. And you can see the whole city. It's incredible. And then up there is Acropolis. Simply, thank you very much. It's beautiful. <laughs> I really enjoy. would only know about this little alleyway with restaurants if you have a Greek friend. So shout out to my friend Alexia from work who has told me about here. Wow. I should point out that it's like 4 p.m. almost 5 p.m. so it's not actually lunch time but obviously by the time we got here so we came down that tiny alleyway to this restaurant called Yam Yamesi or Yasemi? Yasemi. Yasemi. No N. Yasemi. Yasemi. Um, which my friend Alexia told me about. And I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten since yesterday. Um, so I looked at the list that my friend Alexia gave me and Yosemi was the first one and I put it on the maps when I was coming down the steps of the Acropolis and I saw it was like a seven minute walk. Um, so how lucky that it was so close to where we were. And um, the menu is like tarts and pies and um, salads and soups and cakes. So I will show you guys um, what we get but I'm so excited for my first meal here in Athens. I also have to take you to try gyros. You need to try souvlaki. Um, there's so much exciting food for you to try. <laughs> there's outdoor seating as well, and there's like three other rooms. There's like a main big restaurant room. There was like a middle bit that was like semi-indoor, really semi-outdoor. This, this bit's really cozy. Um, so yeah, I really like it. And this road has like, well, this alleyway has like 
eight other restaurants. You couldn't believe in this alleyway. It reminds me of this beautiful restaurant. Yeah, there's one in London called Muse. So there's Muse of Mayfair. Um, and that like that Muse itself has a few restaurants. And it's close to Victoria's Secret um, in like in Bond Street. Yeah, so that one's a really nice one too. This is Mosca. So this is what was underneath. Yes, this is the bread and the top cheese. Of the bread and cheese. And this is the Greek salad. Are you enjoying it? I love this. It's really nice. And to finish it all, we have a chocolate kind of nougat dessert and this pasta cake it's called um, I'm not sure what's in this one but it's like a specialty one so we'll see Um, I think you guys saw that road that we walked through that had a really cool bar um, So we're gonna go there after um, Well, it had loads of cool bars um, We're gonna go there after but for now I think we're gonna go here for dinner I'll try and get my mum to take a cute picture before I leave um, and I had to go upstairs to take my invis line out and the bathroom was like men and women aren't really separated and I didn't realise until I was taking out my invis line and I saw this guy like look over and smile at me and I was like oh my god why is, am I in the wrong bathroom and I realised no it's just a bit of a unisex bathroom um, yeah I'm going to wear we thought this restaurant was Greek, but it's actually Italian. But it was so nice that we didn't want to leave. Um, and it's so jam-packed. Like, literally, we got, like, the last table. Um, so we're going to eat out food here. I'm having a burger. My mum is having risotto. In here, really, really beautiful. We are sitting outside. You didn't know whether how nice it is. Yeah, there's no wind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm not cold. No. Yeah. I'm not cold as well. Yeah. But I love to sit and show my <laughs> This is my burger. My mum got the truffle risotto. Really, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> my fries are really good because I've done an Instagram story like eight takes like the people here must think I'm crazy um, I really like my food, it tastes so good I'm surprising to you, I'm not cold the waiter at the restaurant made me take a shot of Mastika with him he asked my mum to join in but obviously my mum doesn't drink so she didn't do the shot we just got back to the hotel um, our heating um, wasn't going to full blast in the other room so they just moved us to um, another suite that is basically like the same except my mum likes this one more because the living room goes onto the bedroom whereas the other one had like the living room separate but my mum prefers like a bigger more open space so I guess it kind of worked out for the best but um, it is 11 o'clock at night and considering we woke up at 4 30 a.m. this morning and all I've had is like a 20 minute nap all day i think we've done really well i didn't have any nap i had a nap though yes but it was very short time yeah like 20 minutes yes. so we're gonna sleep like babies and then wake up and go to breakfast so yes. we will see you tomorrow morning see you <laughs> Today is 
Saturday, day two in Athens. We had breakfast this morning. The breakfast was really lovely. I took my camera, but I forgot to film. Slash, I was really sleepy, so I couldn't be bothered to film. Um, but we are walking now to like where um, all the shops are and stuff, like where the designer stuff is as well. So we're going to like the more uptown bit. Um, because apparently now we're in like the cool like downtown area and like the centre of the city. Um, the walk is like 14 minutes away. What I like about Athens is you can actually walk everywhere. It's really like pedestrian friendly. Um, but also like Ubers are such a good price. They are three euros. And for anyone planning to come here right now, um, you need a vaccine card to sit anywhere indoors. You need to have proof of vaccination. So either with your app, like, card that you have vaccine card and then you also if you're not vaccinated could come in with a negative lateral flow test um but yeah obviously vaccination would be quicker um than getting lateral flow even for shops like you can't go into zara uh, without a proof of a vaccination so um yeah just bear that in mind if you're planning on visiting and um for the month of for the past month they've stopped live music um, and they've closed clubs because COVID cases were quite high. Um, so yeah, when you go in stores and stuff, um, they encourage you to wear face masks. So um, that is the update. This is the stock, stock exchange of Athens, we're just walking past. Who would have thought like the Wall Street of Athens? In a stock market with a... Today is a bit colder, but like, it's, it's supposed to be five degrees, but like I feel five degrees in London is probably much colder. How cute yeah. is that coffee shop? The coffee berry. Very cozy here. Yeah, it's pretty cute. nicest little bit to go shopping. Don't you think, Mum? It was so beautiful. I and there's so many little cafes. I was so shocked that Athens has so many cafes. Honestly, I feel like it has as many as Paris. No? Really? I can't believe it's so... And they have so many independent shops, like their own shops rather than, um, like, the chain, you know? Um, which is so nice to see. So we are now having a coffee break. Um, we are in the Four Seasons in Vuslak. Vuslak? I forgot the name. Vulusaki. Um, Vulusaki, I think. Um, but it's so pretty here. This is the Avra bar, I think. And then you can see the sea outside. Um, it's really pretty. I can tell that this is the place to be in summer. It's um, beautiful for summer. <laughs> 
So we're in Monasteraki, which we walked past yesterday, but we didn't know the name of the area. But I want to go into this church. It looks so nice. And I definitely want to go into a church whilst I'm in Athens. Um, I just love churches so much. I find them so peaceful. Even though I'm not Christian, I think that they are beautiful places of worship. So yeah, I'm going to go into this one. But yeah, there's loads of bars here as well. That was such a beautiful church, Nama. It was really beautiful. I wish we could take a picture or... Um, I like that we didn't take pictures. Yes. Uh, it reminds me a lot of no, the... No, um, I said everybody you can see, that's fine. Not no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes it's nice that yes. everyone can see. Um, Amazing. Yeah, it was lovely. Now we're just going to find somewhere to have some gyros. There's a lot of choice here. We are having some gyros in Monasteraki. Uh, let me tell you guys where the security guard in Sephora told me, uh, recommended this place to me. It is called Beiradaris Beira Taverna and it is in Monasteraki. And it's it's like two, uh, yeah, we've been looking for the best gyros to come to. It's like two shops, so that is also part of it. And they're like across the square from each other. The cafe culture here is incredible. When we said we want to sit inside, they were like shocked. <laughs> they were like, are you sure you want to sit inside? Um, so we're going to have some gyros now. I'm really excited. Even the menu looks good. Um, I arrived to Greece. Uh, yes, Greece. Um, so basically, when I booked this trip for my mum and me, um, I wrote in the card that we're going to go have gyros and we're going to have it in Athens. So now she's been excited to have gyros that we got here. Especially because it was one of my Oh, This is the mixed grill. Fold this bit, this is the gyros. And then this is like lamb sticks and chicken sticks and it looks so good. It's perfect. Is uh, gyros is the same as shawarma? Similar, I think. Similar. Yeah, very similar. The Greek version, different marinade probably. Probably, wow. We've got some Greek salad, some dolma. This is the garlic sauce and the mixed grill. <laughs> So we have some yogurt and honey and halva that they brought us. It's <laughs> interesting. Halva, honey and yogurt. <laughs> and cinnamon. Mm. So I'm ready for tonight, which is our last night out. We're going to a cocktail bar because we had dinner so late that we had lunch so late that it was like 6 p.m that was basically dinner so let me just show you guys my outfit this lipstick by the way is from a brand called mina i'll show you it looks like this they sent me um a bunch of makeup and i really really like this one so be sure to check it out this is my outfit of the night i'm wearing these uh green leather plt um trousers some boots um and this black cropped jumper and I'm gonna wear my green puffer jacket over the top. Come, you can you can show your outfit, it's okay. Her outfit is underneath it. Um, and she's gonna take off my hat, but she's cold right now, so um, she's I wearing the hat. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Which bar is this, mum? Name of the bar? Yeah. It's a number. Oh, 60? No, 360. And up there is the Acropolis. And then there's a place to go to Come down for breakfast and they give you like a platter like this because of COVID. And this is like a little bread basket. My mum's wearing yellow today. It's our last yeah. day, we leave in the afternoon. So we're just gonna explore around here after we've had our food. I am in like this green stewy thing and jeans and then I have pink in my shoes as well so 
very very swaggy I'm just gonna enjoy my breakfast and enjoy the view it's the view of like the square with the pigeons that I showed you guys um, at the start of the vlog um, and the weather's sunny today but it's cold the first week came was like 14 degrees and yesterday was I think 5 degrees and I think today is also 5 degrees but sunny so I'm so happy we caught that first hot day um, because it honestly made going to the Acropolis so much easier. Um, you look like you're starting a juice cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> this is canned and apple juice. <laughs> it's nice. Seriously? I <laughs> Stick to what you know. <laughs> Walking through the airport. I'm not gonna lie, the airport staff here was so grumpy and the check-in people are so rude. We had such a good time. Such a lovely, lovely time. We had such a lovely time. The people were so lovely. The culture was incredible. The food was incredible. So many places to <coughs> go and see and every part of it was just beautiful. I will write my list of recommendations up on the screen as well. That's A7. We had a fantastic time. We had a fantastic time. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. We had so much fun in Athens. We need to go away again, mom. Yes, thank you very much for you watching us. And don't forget to check out Anna Louise's huge sale. I'll link it down below in the description for you guys. And I'll see you in my next vlog. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs>